Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday. Today, we're thinking about Joshua. So let's grab our packs and have some fun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday again. I hope you're having a fantastic summer holiday. Do you know what? We're having a brilliant time at the Family Summer Fun each Wednesday. And if you haven't booked on for this week's uh, session yet, then get your mums and dads to book you on now. Last week, we sold out of tickets. We were fully booked. So don't forget, all the details for that will come at the end. So today, we are thinking about a guy called Joshua. Now, Joshua, he... He took over from Moses, who was a very, very important man, if you remember. So today we are thinking about his first battle, the Battle of Jericho. And we'll find out a little bit about that from Trev later on. We've also got Reds versus Blues. I'm currently leading. Uh, but we've got a new person stepping in this week. It's Jen, me versus Robin. And I wonder who will win. Okay, so as always, we always start with a song. So how is it? let's have a little bit of a warm up. We need to wiggle. We need to stand up and have a bit of a wiggle. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm all warmed up. Ready? Here's the song.
Well, there it is. Caleb, come on. I'm coming. Whoa, look at that. That's what we're going for. That's the target. That's Jericho. How are we going to get there? Well, you see, behind the trees, down there, that's the rubber Jordan. How are we going to get across? Trust me, we'll find a way across the rubber. Then we'll take the city of Jericho. How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we'll send in two spies to check it out. And then we'll take it. Have you seen the size of those walls? Don't worry about it. It'll be like going on a bear hunt. What do you mean? Well, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go through it. So how are we going to do it? We're going to go around it. Round it? How'll that work? Trust me, Caleb. It'll work great. And there'll be no fighting involved. Then why are you wearing that hat? Well, you never know what's going to fall down on your head. Right. So, oh, look, with some people. Yes, keep, keep down. They don't want to be seen. They, they know we're coming soon, but they don't know when. Right. Well, I better go back and get the army prepared, ready for going into battle. All right, Joshua. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Trust me. God told me the plan. Right, great. Let's go. Well, Joshua, here we are. That's right. We've done it. So this is it. This is Jericho. Yeah, that's Jericho. There's not much left on it. Oh, I can see that. It's ruined. It's, it's, it's fallen down. Yeah, so it has. So how, how, how did he do it? Well, first of all, we uh, crossed the Jordan. We got the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant carried by four guys into the river. And then the river stopped flowing. What, the river just stopped? Yep, just like the Red Sea. And he could walk across. Wow, that's amazing. Now, what about uh, Jericho? How did he manage to, to, uh, to beat Jericho? Because it's, it's an old city. Yes, it's the world's older city. Great, strong city. So how do you manage that? Well, we just walked around the walls once a day for six days. And then seven times on the seventh. Yeah. And then the walls just fell down. No fighting involved. Very good. That was an easy victory. It certainly was. Everybody uh, in now? Well, yeah. And it's also got the extra one. Who's that? Rehab. Rehab. What was she doing? She helped the spies. Great. So you're in? Yeah. Great. Okay, everybody, it's time for Reds versus Blues again. Now, uh, just before you are worried, uh, Trev has not shaved his beard off. This is uh, Robin. Robin is uh, stepping in for a little while so that Trev can have a nice, well-earned rest. Uh, she's on the Reds team anyway. So the scores so far are 17 points to my team Blue and 16 points to Trev and Robin's team Red. So uh, I'll be honest with you, this could go any way today due to the fact that um, both of us have been laughing at it already and and it looks really, really hard. So it's going to be a timed event. We're going to have one minute to, to make this happen. It's called cup hands. And basically, you put some cups on your hands and you have to build a tower of dice. Uh, the person with the tallest dice tower after a minute, well, you've guessed, is the winner. So let's go and have a go. I'm going to set the timer. So I've got my trusty watch clock here it's set to a minute yep okay now i the big problem i've got is i've got to start that and do that at the same time we'll set it for like one minute a couple of seconds so i'm going to set it for a minute and five seconds yes okay um here we go right i've got to get rid of and when it gets to a minute that's when you start right okay here we go 
cap hands. I'll put one on already. Here we go. Three, two, two. go. Got one. Oh my goodness! Yay! Oh no! I need to not paint my tower. Oh, no. I'm going to kneel down and get closer to my table. Oh, I've got three. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Five. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Okay, I stopped early. Okay, so how many of you got? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what that means? It's a draw. So that means one point all. I thought I was being clever then, boys and girls, but actually I wasn't. So it's still um, one point difference. I've got 18 points. Robin's got 17 points. Let's see if you can have a go and see who's going to win next week. Bye. Good morning, it's now time for our craft and today our craft is also for our prayer. So before you do your prayer, you'll need to make your craft. Uh, so today we were thinking about Joshua and the Battle of Jericho and I think it would have been a real worry for Joshua on how to go and uh, take Jericho. So today we are thinking about worry prayers. And we're going to be thinking about the fact that actually, uh, when we worry about something, it, it doesn't actually help us. So we're going to make some weights, some dumbbells, and we're going to write our worries on the dumbbells beforehand. And then we're going to realise that actually our worries don't weigh very much anyway. And all of the information is in your packs. Okay, so you will need... Um, the sheets from your packs which have some circles on them i've cut mine out already there they are uh, and a toilet roll or something like that well i don't have a toilet roll so once again i'm using just some ordinary card all right so i've cut out my circles i've got my card ready and now um we write what we're worried about so let me see what am i worried about oh um i'm worried about, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm worried that the boys and girls won't come back to church. So I'm going to write down Ignite. Okay, on that one. And on this one, I'm going to write down a prayer asking God to help me not to worry. Help me, God, not to worry. Okay, so there you go. Now you can colour them in, you can write whatever you want on that. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is you need to put the tube you have in these holes. Now, like I said, I don't have a tube. So the way to do it is roll your tube up really, really tight. Roll your piece of paper up really, really tight. So it's quite small like that. Okay, and then you put your pieces of paper on them and then when you let go look at that look at that it actually fits the circles you see so it now looks like oh that's really really heavy now you can sell the tape it down just to make it secure okay here we go in the middle okay and if you wanted to you can you can actually write on the bar itself so we can write something like help me pray 
Okay, so whatever it is you want help with, it could be you're worried about going back to school, it could be that you're going on holiday and you're a bit a bit worried about going on holiday because we haven't been going on holidays for a while. Whatever it is, write it on your, your little weight like this. And then you realise that actually when you pick it up, it's not that heavy. It's not really that thing to worry about. And we can actually hand our worries over to God and say, God, this might be heavy for you, for me, but it's not heavy for you. Don't forget to colour it in and make it as colourful as you want and uh, see if you can make your worry weights go away with your worry craft. See you next week. <clears throat> okay, everybody, that's nearly it from us for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed all that we've done. Reds versus blues, it was a draw. Why not have a go at the dice building game and see if you can do better than us? It was really, really tricky. Okay, so <clears throat> mums and dads, boys and girls, Let's listen. This Wednesday, uh, family fun at Romanby Park, 2 till 3 p.m. If you would like to book on here, okay, here is the link to Eventbrite. Okay, if you've got a really cool smartphone that does QR codes, here is the QR code that you can scan that will take you straight to the event. Now, I just want to say uh, the the QR code and the Eventbrite uh, code are the same for all the weeks. So, mums and dads, you could actually book on for this week and next week, and then you don't even have to worry about it. Can I just ask, though, mums and dads, please, can you put your children's name in the name part of it? Uh, because otherwise, you're going to be getting an email off of either Greg or I asking the names of your children so that we can make name badges for them to help the team with remembering who is who when we've got so many boys and girls coming now last week we sold out of tickets so mums and dads boys and girls do not leave it till the last minute please 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 book now as soon as this is finished mums and dads go and get your computers and book now because the tickets are flying out Okay, mums and dads, you do not need to book for yourself. And actually, mums and dads, you don't need to book any babies on, okay? Because they can come anyway, all right? It's just um, the younger boys and girls, like toddlers and up, you need to book on so that we've got enough space for them. We've only got 40 spaces and we are already over half full. So that is why I'm telling you, book on now. Okay, I'm going to finish with a prayer. Okay, here we go. Let's wiggle our fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. One, two, three. Lord God, we thank you for all the fun that we've had this week. We thank you, Lord God, for all the fun that we're having at our Wednesday afternoon family summer fun event. And God, I pray for all the boys and girls and all the mums and dads. They have a wonderful holiday this week. And for all of those boys and girls and mums and dads that are going to come to our event, I pray that you they would have a wonderful time with Greg and the team. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, I won't see you on Wednesday because I'm on holiday. I'll see you again next Sunday. Take care, everybody. Bye.